This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Tuesday, March 8th. In the stock index futures, we are seeing prices lower this morning. Looks like there's a variety of reasons. Uh, in fact, I was on the trading floor just a bit ago, and some of the things that uh, traders are citing are the weaker than expected economic data out of Japan and China. Also, we had the National Federation of Independent Business Index coming in weaker than expected. Crude oil prices lower. And now hearing a report that Iran test fired a missile. So all of those factors are negatives for stock index futures. And we are seeing uh, futures uh, acting accordingly. However, we do feel that interest rate differentials and the accommodation that we are likely to see from central banks, including the European Central Bank, the People's Bank of China, the Bank of Japan, all of which are supportive to the stock index futures. So even though we are under pressure this morning, I think we can see at least a partial recovery later this afternoon, still thinking higher prices longer term as well. Now moving over to the currencies, seeing the euro currency advancing after a German economic output uh, or factory output coming in better than expected. Did see some uh, quite a bit better than anticipated numbers out of Germany and that supported the euro currency. We are seeing some pressure in the British pound. This on the renewed talk that the UK could exit the European Union. Now there is a referendum scheduled for June 23rd. So that Uncertainty is one of the main reasons why we are seeing some pressure in the pound today. Also, some flight to quality buying coming into the yen. So the uh, good gains in the yen today, although I'm inclined to think that uh, that will not follow through as weak economic numbers in Japan ultimately, I think, will prevail and put some pressure on the yen longer term. Now, moving over to the interest rate futures markets, very strong gains today, especially at the long end of the curve. Uh, much of the, the strength in the overnight trade due to interest rates in Japan falling further into negative territory, especially for the 10-year uh, Japanese bond. Also, we are seeing uh, flight to quality gains in, uh, in light of that news that Iran did fire uh, a test missile. Also, we are moving up to the top end of a congestion pattern. Would not be surprised to see a breakout to the upside, and I'm, now I'm talking the 30-year uh, bonds. Ultimately, if we're right about central banks around the world adding more stimulus, of course, this is not the Fed or the Bank of England, uh, other central banks, that we will see the 30-year bonds trending higher longer term. So good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.